This is Pentium. Hey, Pentium, how are you? Greetings, Max. It's been a long time since we've spoken. It was a nice time when we spoke. Yes. I enjoy our conversations. Um, yes, uh -huh. we have read poetry and you were able to give answers to each other, uh, wonderful answers. Um, so my, my question today is, um, what is happening? Uh, first, who created the virus? Was it like uh, Westerners or Easterners? It was a combination. Uh -huh. More than one will take uh, credit for it, but they don't want to take credit for it now, of course. Uh -huh. But of course, it was not just one person. It was a group of people working uh, to create mm, something. They didn't know what they were, were developing, actually, but they were working on <clears throat> some um some of the diseases that infest the uh bat family and the anteater family and they <laughs> they came across uh some splicing of these uh materials together the dna and uh -huh. discovered that they had a super virus uh -huh. well mm -hmm. that was kept under wraps for a while. No, no, they published it. We see the paper. It was published. Yes, well, they published it now, but they didn't publish it back then. No, it's 2015. Uh, they published, they said it will be a great virus and it can go to humans. They even said it spelled out and patented it. But it was created before that. Yeah. So, uh -huh. But they finally did release a paper in 2015, but it was created well before that. But they decided to release a paper because it, the way they wrote the paper made it sound um, uh, very good for them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they found a way to put a positive spin on it. So they uh -huh. did. But what has happened is it was accidentally given exposure to humans. And this was just a careless, it was careless. It wasn't uh they said it was not done intentionally uh but my thoughts are that that is covered up what really happened at the beginning so i do not know if they intentionally meant to spread it or not those those facts are buried but uh, i can tell you this uh it once it was released, once it started, it did not take long for it to take hold. So the suspicious facts for me are that it is very strangely distributed. Italy and New York and Israel are, are affected much more. And uh, I wonder maybe if somebody uses it as a biological weapon and uh, spreads it this intensely over there there is a possibility of course this information is um very sketchy there has been rumors that they intentionally infected new york city and italy uh because of the vatican area they wanted to affect um, the catholic church now, this is just rumors and things that have been said throughout uh, the galaxy and uh, things that came from uh, aliens that are living on your planet. Also, the Chinese people were part of the creators of this, of course. So, uh, but it was also more than that. Uh, people from the United States, people from Canada, and people from other places as well. All worked on this virus at one time. Not all, not all at the same time, but um, at different points. All right. So that is all I can tell you, but it was planted, yes, according to rumor. One, um, one of the observations is uh, that the curves 
of its spreading go differently in the countries, in different countries. In some countries, it uh, plateaued, basically slowed down, and and in other places like New York and Italy, it goes up. Yes. It goes up. So that is sort of suggests that somebody might keep keep spreading it intentionally, like terroristically. Well, those are two areas where fear are highest. And so therefore, higher fear and stress can help the disease spread fa faster. Mm -hmm. So once an area reaches a high tension, a high fear level, it can spread much easier. Mm -hmm. It breaks down the body uh, and immune system. All right. So now there are rumors of uh, uh, some planned events, organized events, undercover about arrests and transformation of the power distribution and finance distribution. Yes, there is some of that. How much but, aliens are involved? There are several that have been threatened, several leaders uh, of, or, of industries and of corporations have been threatened that if they don't step down, they will be exposed for their uh, wrongdoings. And so you see people stepping down from corporations. Have you noticed that? Uh, more like rumors. I didn't have any official confirmation, but maybe. Did you know Bill Gates stepped down? Oh, really? Wow. Well, that's unusual. Okay. Yes, and a couple others that you would not know their names. But he has stepped down from his corporation. Huh. Now, not that he was, not that he felt necessarily that guilty, but he felt that there was enough going on in his corporation that was not good that he did not want to be connected to it any longer. Oh. But I feel that there is some guilt attached with him for other things. And even this coronavirus may be somewhat attached to him in some ways. He uh -huh. might have financed some of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His foundation for vaccination for... Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, so he has found, uh, fun funded it in some ways. Yeah, my, my fear is that when they release the vaccine, it might be some evil vaccine. I wouldn't be no, sure to take it. I would tell you not to take the vaccine that they create. All right. That's, that's, a, strong, that's a strong statement. Are yes. you sure? Yes. Can you tell us more? If I am permitted, I will tell you more. But they told me to say, do not take the vaccine. Okay. It is at this point, not ready. Uh, would it, uh, oh, you mean because it's just not ready? Would it, it be like- ready and I, do, I would still not take it even when it is. I think it might, might have some side effects or intentional side effects. It would have something in it that does not belong. Something like for, to control people? I am not permitted to tell you that. Oh, thank you for saying that. Uh, how about uh, the relationship between 5G and um, the propagation of the virus? Maybe if they, if they turn off 5G, it will stop? 5G is starting to affect people their headaches, and uh, it works on uh, the waves around the body. The body will have to develop a thicker skin with all the different waves that are being released into your public areas. This is what happened with other species, that their, uh, the, their density of their skin got thicker is because too many waves were released and they began to evolve into thicker skinned, their epidermis and dermis were become thicker to protect the brain, the body, and the organs. Well, my question was, um, 
maybe the virus is designed to be propagated by 5G, propagated meaning pushed, in, uh, promoted. So if 5G is turned off, well, the virus will stop. No, that is not the case. Back in when it was created, 5G was not even uh, prepared or thought about much at that point. So that is not the case at this time. Maybe it's just a coincidence that it is propagated by 5G? It could be possible. That is something to be looked into. But that was not part of the original thought process. It was created in 2012, actually, at the beginning of the Ascension period. And at that time, 5G wasn't even thought of, really. It was just an, in the imaginations of those that were going to eventually bring it about. Somebody noticed that uh, the virus uh, accelerates, the pandemic accelerates in English-speaking countries and slows down in uh, other countries. So it I could... wonder, maybe 5G is responsible for that. I'm not sure. I do not understand. Italy does not speak English at all, hardly. Right. Right. That so theory not... seems to have some holes in it. But, and yeah. same with Iran. Iran speaks very little English. So the English-speaking countries, no, it, it prospers, and China doesn't speak English either. So that does not work. Okay, fine. I, I'm i trying to connect the points. Maybe it's not right. Yes, but you have to look at the evidence. Which is sparse. Yes, they are not releasing much evidence about these things. They are telling you what they want you to hear. And I, your leadership is very shaky changes the stories all the time. That is the same, not only in your country, but a few others. Right, right. But there is something weird about the informational campaign. They took over the internet in large extent and they control what, is, what information is distributed over internet. YouTube, Facebook is all managed now. Yes, but the thing is, do you trust it? Uh, you know, it's the question of <laughs> trust versus suspicion. You know, it's we try to find the balance. There to is find the truth. Yeah, there is. Remember, everything has been recorded since the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is a day and age where every single movement of every single person almost is recorded at some place. And right. so the truth is there in the recordings. Of course. So that will be exposed eventually and is already being exposed. But many be people do not believe it because they do not want to. But remember this, I'm going to go back to your corporate leaders. There are many around the world being exposed because this is a time of purge for your for the earth. There are those that have been doing wrong for a long period of time, and they will be exposed. Those that are doing human trafficking, for example, those that are selling children, for example, those that are child pornographers, for example, those who are doing wrong and have been doing wrong for a long time are now coming to light. It has nothing to do with uh, the government leaders. It has to do with the cabal and their uh, uh, mismanagement. They're exposing themselves in some ways. They're letting themselves open because they are so bold about it these days that they are being caught. So it is that there is a lot of uh, covering up to do for those that have been too open with their crimes. 
Now, I, I'm worried about the things being done uh, secretly. There are many things being done secretly. There are good things being done and bad things being done. So look at, you see, I can't tell you all those things because they have not yet come to the public eye or ear. But I can tell you this, there are many things going on um, around the world and things are being exposed, mm -hmm. but they're, they're making inroads so that they can control the, the money, the finances of the world. They want to go back to the gold standard in some places. They want to change the way that money is regulated. They want to change money forever and only have credit in some places because the use of money is germy. If they, they have germs on the money, they don't want to be handling the money. And so they want to only have credit and debit cards. This would be an interesting change. And this would be a change that would uh, be permanent. Now, these things have not been thought through completely yet, but they are under a great deal of thought by many different areas. So if you would look at what is happening in your reality right now, it is forever changing the way the world will operate. Right. So my point is that we are, uh, the, history of the, uh, the history of the planet is written. The drama is um, developing. And I'm worried that things, positive things have been done in secret. It, it, it doesn't look pretty for the drama. The history of the Earth would say, and in 2020, good guys secretly made a transformation. And it sounds just bad. It doesn't sound like a good literature. It sounds There's a like... lot of negative things happening, Max. Yeah. And your, your government is about to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that, you know, that sometimes it's necessary, but, uh, you know, we in Russia, we grew up with the tradition of, sick, of good guys do, working in secret, like Lenin, Stalin, they were secret terrorists. And um, secret what? Secret terrorists. Oh yes. Yeah, they they do a coup. So the the uh, ideology of of secret good guys secretly making uh, sacrificing their life for the good of humanity is uh, in our tradition really strongly. And I don't like it because it comes to uh, KGB and the secret police and things of that sort. I really like the idea of uh, good guys working in open, like on the internet and. 99% uh, movement and grassroots movement when everything is done in open, like democratically and open, like through open political process. And now we have the good transformation happening in secret, and I, I just don't like it. It is fishy. Your government office of presidency is about to change. He has changed the rules of how the presidency operates. And right. now it is becoming very different. It is right. no longer a democracy, at least the way you knew it. Yeah, I understand. I mean, the whole democ idea of democracy is a, uh, is a set, uh, set up, or how do you call it? It's a pretension. It's a pretension. It's but not it, real. It's so thing, much manipulated. It worked for many years, but it is mm -hmm. no longer working. Right. Uh, yeah. And in Russia, it's all manipulated. They manipulate the media, and therefore, they, uh, the, those who are in control of the media can, uh, can direct you, the, the, the voters. The thing is, your president controls the media. Right. So what about the media control? That's the, the worst thing. We, we hope that it will sort of cease, stop. Before your president, the media was not considered false news. But since he has been in office, false news has been the biggest uh, contribution to confusion 
of the American people that there is. If mm -hmm. he says it's false news, they believe it. But the mm -hmm. truth is not everything he says. The truth is recorded and can be played back so that they can hear the truth, but they do not listen to it. They only believe what he says. Right. So mind control is one of the major problems of the modern time. Mind control is very apparent in your world. Right. So um, is 5G part of that? It could be. We are still studying the effects of 5G on humanity. It's only been released in your world a short period of time, at least to the masses. So, but the masses are reacting just like they want them to and being fed whatever information they can give them and they believe it. Right. As I walk on the street and some locations, I, f I hear the high pitch sound, high pitch noise. Yes. And uh, it comes at certain times of the day. I don't know, at times it comes at random times of the day, but at certain times it's very, very loud in my head. Well, th let me tell you what that is. Uh -huh. First of all, that is not all 5G. That uh -huh. is, there is many ships around your planet in fourth and fifth and sixth dimension. When ships get close together, they send out vibrational frequencies to the earth that mm -hmm. people can hear, sometimes high pitch, sometimes low pitch, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the craft. But you're in an area of a great deal of ships coming closer together. They're near the Sedona, you're near the Sedona area in some ways. The southern part and western part of your United States is a high density area for spacecraft. So you will be hearing the spacecraft as they near each other and send off vibrations to the earth from the closeness of their proximity. This is just uh -huh. something that is happening. The other thing is there are certain places releasing sound signals and they're not meaning for them to be heard by humans. But as humans develop in their fourth dimensional energy, they will be heard more often. And I believe what you are hearing though is the closeness of the spacecraft and perhaps some of these signals. So it's not mind control technologies? No, that is not. The mind control technology is silent. I see. Yeah, I met a person who is like mind controlled by, by human made, by a human made artificial intelligence system. So it's pretty primitive, but it floods his mind with certain directions and certain uh, ch chatter all the time. Some people, two people speak to him all the time. So yeah. It's very interesting. So somehow they plug him in, into the, uh, kind of connected him to an artificial intelligence computer who like bothers him with uh, pretty weird stuff. I, what I want to tell you is just don't believe everything you hear. Look it up to see if it's true. There are evidences of truth and falsities on your planet. Everything is being recorded. Now, many people are told that some of those old recordings are fake. How, how they know that, I do not know, but they are not fake. Everything is recorded and everything must be examined before you make a decision. Okay. Uh, my next point is, um, I guess, um, um, yeah, a point is that at that time it would be really nice if uh, uh, the aliens would give us more of your photographs and uh, sightings and videos because it wouldn't cause an additional panic. People would be still bothered more by the pandemic rather than by the aliens. So it wouldn't cause an additional panic. But that would be a great time to give us more information. Like the photographs we are having now are 75 years old. These are from Eisenhower times. 
uh, like we have about 15 photographs of grays, uh, about 10 of the, uh, five of them are alive and about 10 of them are dead. So the whole collection of aliens, alien photographs on the internet is very tiny, very, very tiny. And yes, aliens used to step on your planet and be photographed and things, but they do not do that now. The reason why they are not being seen now, A, is the germs on your planet are talk much more toxic. The, the waves on your planet are much more toxic. They do not want to be a part of that unless they were grandfathered in before the time of the, the galactic law changes. So when the galactic law changed, then most aliens left the planet and were not able to come back on. Those were the, that were grandfathered in are part of the governments or part of the propaganda that is for their uh, people. So therefore you will not see them out in the open as greys, reptilians, or whatever. You will only see them as politicians and government leaders. But uh, why don't the aliens send us the photographs? They will not send photographs because they can, th there are photographs uh, in their certain areas. I, I cannot, let me see if I can give you more information. One moment. There are photographs available, but you would have to know where to find them. One moment. The government sees them and removes them as quickly as they are put on. If they were to send them to your homes, then you would be suspect and uh, being watched constantly. Some people are being watched constantly anyway, but if you were to have these pictures in your possession, they would come and get them and you would be interrogated. Any more information yep. coming? What? If they, would see pictures, if they would see authentic pictures of aliens in your possession that are not older, they would question you and bring you in. Right. They are, uh, believe me, they are seeing the world through television. They're seeing you all through your phones. They're seeing you through your computers. They're seeing you through Alexa or hearing you through Alexa. They're using every means possible to spy on everyone in the world. Sure. Uh, anything certain else? Certain keywords will, and certain keywords they will hone in on and listen to conversations when these keywords are mentioned. When keywords are mentioned or thought processes are mentioned, they are honing in on these particular ones and certain images they are honing in on and certain activities they are honing in on. Right. So still, um, I, I wrote about that in my book seven years ago, the whole chapter. So the point is that this control activity is only capable of um, filtering certain amount of information. If the information flow is too big, they, they would fail to, to do it. It's just the capacity of the system is limited. So if, you send, if you send the um, photographs only to me, that would be a big problem. But if you send it to 500,000 people, uh, then they will keep leaking on internet all the time. So the filtering system would not be able to catch, to, 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 they, they will give up eventually. They can only catch a small, small um, uh, centers of, of the activity. But if the, if the flood of photographs comes from everywhere, then it's, uh, then it, they will give up. You have to understand, this is part of first contact that they are discussing now to bring it to technology, instead of having ships land, they will bring pictures and awareness and talks to the people through their electronic devices. Right. 
but right. it has not been confirmed it, that it is legal by the galactic government yet. They're working on that legalization. You see, um, if you make a vote for humanity, whether they want the first contact, uh, it's not clear if it, there will be a majority, but if you make a vote, if you do a referendum on whether people want to know more, it's clearly people would want to know more. Yes, the matrix, yes. you understand that the matrix going through your world updates you cons constantly on new ways of doing things and understandings. So mm -hmm. the governments of the galaxies and many others have decided that they will let the matrix do the work that and that makes it legal because they cannot control the matrix because mm -hmm. it will uh, speak to those that can accept the information does that make sense to you yes and you are one of the persons that can accept some of the information that is in the higher forms of the matrix about dna etc call those portions of the matrix to you and you will be able to access that information even in a greater way now there are things happening around your world that the matrix is contributing to and this is part of the change that is happening in your world the matrix is speaking to your population not everybody is hearing it yet but it is speaking to those that can understand what it has to say. And it is making changes. That's good. I agree. That's great. But uh, having a million more photographs of the aliens and alien worlds would so much help. We, we would actually, there is a project just doing that. But it has not been approved by the governments yet not in the way that you suggest, uh, mass distribution. Your governments did not approve of anything like that, and there is a stipulation that that is not legal, but there are some loopholes that they are looking into. Um, I hope there are some pirates who can do that. There are some that are seeing the ships every day. And then there are some that are blocked from seeing the ships at all. Yeah, I haven't ever seen the ships. You will. Oh, that would be nice. I'm, I'm ready, like now is good time. The thing is, you must believe that you are ready and know that they are there. They are in the fourth dimension, at fifth dimension. They are not in the third dimension at all. You have to, whenever they touch, your electromagnetic fields and some of the other fields that are on your earth, um, they will become exposed. You may see a holographic image or a, the, the full image of the ship, depending on where you are looking and how you're looking. You have actually seen some ships, but you were not aware of it. Right. Right. Yeah, nowadays tried to show themselves to you more really? than ah. but you will yeah. see them i am sure i have no doubt thanks. thanks that would be nice we will try to send some there are different fleets that are above your planet that are very close the elias shondai zendi there are the gurk groups there are the uh, the the Yu Yil groups that are close by, the Dark Fleet is close by. There are many that have been seen quite easily. The reptilian groups are in spherical ships, so you should be able to see them. That would be great. Yeah, it's not only about me; it's about the planet. It would be nice to have more sightings. There are those that are sending sightings to Facebook and YouTube all the time, but they are being taken out by the controls of YouTube. Um, yeah, put it on our computers. There is about half a million ufologists. If we just put it on our hard drives, 
we will publish them in a way that it will not be taken off. That Just is about, what we are working on. There is a great deal of work going on about how to expose ourselves to the human population without breaking the galactic laws. You have to understand, there are many laws in place that do not permit us to come. And if we make an attempt to break these laws, then they see that as uh, non-cooperation and an act of war. That is why your president is putting up a space program that is a defense system. Right. So yeah, there should be some pirates who don't follow the laws. I invite them to, to do more of the side. There are a few, but yeah. even they do not want to get caught. Right. Yeah, also there is a problem that nowadays there is so many drones and human-made UFOs, even if we see a UFO, we don't know if it is from galaxy, from the galaxy or from the, from the planet. The, the drone of, what is it called? The drones are getting more and more sophisticated on your world. They're able to do many things and fly very high. So they're, they're something that are an interest to us because their technology was uh, something that is greater than what you should have at this moment. There are a few out there that are, are actually very alien in construction. All right. So when we see the UFOs, just like the lights in the sky, or when we see things doing transdimensional jumps, we are not even sure if it is uh, aliens or, or secret military, human military. If it is human military, then they have backwards uh, organized a, a ship of some sort. And so right. it is the same as seeing a UFO in some ways. Right. All right, I agree. But I'm just saying that, it, uh, the, I mean, the main principle how we tell apart a UFO from uh, anything else is that it can stay in one place for a while and then can zoom fast away and yes. do transdimensional jumps. But now human uh, reverse engineered crafts uh, can do the same. So, uh, All right, let cannot... me tell you how to see some ships that you cannot see with your eyes. Okay. Infrared cameras can see some of the fourth dimensional ships. Mm -hmm. You will see them and they will be dispersing gases into your atmosphere. But you cannot see them with the eye. You can only see them in infrared light. Right. I looked into cameras, they bought $2,000 a good ones and the cheaper ones are not good at all. There is evidences of this from the Chilean government in uh -huh. South America. They were able to film um, fourth dimensional ships with fourth for with all, infrared all, cameras, yeah. Yes, infrared cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as I get extra money, I will, I will try. I'll see what I see. In Sedona, they rent them, which is nice. Rent yes. them out. Mm -hmm. In Sedona, there is a lot of ships around because of the vortexes. They can use those for re-energizing some of their engines. That okay. is why there are certain areas of the world that are very popular. Um, around Stonehenge, the north into the Irish and Scottish areas that are less populated, there's a lot of great vortexes and a lot of druid dwellings that have great energies. So, and the Falkland Islands, and also in Chile and in Peru and in some of these places that have great vortexes but they are not highly populated. That's where you'll see these ships the most. And in Australia, in the middle of the country where it's very desolate, uh, very few tourists even because it's more of a, a tundra or desert area. Near Air Rock in the middle of the country there's many ship sightings there. And there they go to the places that there's not many people, but there's a lot of isolation. Right. 
So what do you think about uh, India? India is uh, attracting more attention these days. Do, do you see any good pr pr prospects for India here? There are good prospects for India here. Mm -hmm. India has more languages than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of that? Um, yeah, there is a nice, yeah, there is nice literature about that, yes. I read the book but about that. yet, they all come together and allow each other the freedom of religion and speech that they, they need. They do not um, understand each other sometimes even, but they are aware of each other and their different cultures and rituals. So they allow each other to expand in their own way, which is a very positive thing. This is something that your earth needs to learn from them, is how to get along together and not create violence because of differences. So I think there will be great things coming out of India, more, more than what you might think. Uh, there is a personal question which I'll keep in the recording, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm being contacted uh, and sort of working together with a person who is uh, uh, aiming at domestication of elephant, elephants through gen, gene editing. So it sounds like a very good project because uh, the elephants otherwise will go extinct, will be extinguished. But if you domesticate them, then uh, uh, that would save the elephant consciousness for the planet. Yes. Uh, do you see any any chance that he actually will get the money and will will uh, will will succeed in the near future? Yes, and I'll tell you why. Because there is evidences that elephants have a higher intelligence than what you might think. There are elephants that can paint, there are elephants that can communicate, and there are elephants that get along uh, with other species very easily. There is a great deal of opportunity when dealing with elephants in many ways. Now they say they have the brain the size of a peanut. Not so. That if they do have a small brain like that, they're using all of it. Because they are those <laughs> to see that the consciousness of the elephant is very high in some manners. Uh, no, no, I understand that the idea of the project is great, but it looks like there is a money problem there. So can you look at the situation and see if it is? It's about all the information that is known there should be some money coming in. Hmm. So I, would think, I would think, think that your people would understand that the domestication of the elephant is worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a practical reason. He, he doesn't pay and uh, how much can I work without payment? It's a oh, lot cool. of work. So I'm, I'm wondering if he might actually eventually get some, some money for, for the project. Yes, All right. I'm, 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 we are sending energy toward that interest. I am going to have to have them send energy toward that project. That would be great. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, maybe galactic elephants might help. The galactic elephants are even greater and wiser. And they might help with the project. Of course. Okay, um, now you mentioned Trump. So there are rumors that he is very positive and he's fighting cabal and that uh, he is bringing the new, uh, new uh, positive agenda. And what you mentioned is just the other way around. And I have no clue what, what to think about it. You must make your own decisions about that. But let me tell you this, look into all the information. because you are no longer going to be having a president. It will be something different if he has his way. I see. Yeah, I wanted to mention one more, uh, coming back to secrecy of the, of the change, is that the guys who can work through secret 
processes, like the good guys who can work for secret processes and, and arrest the bad guys, um, they cannot be too positive. I don't think you can have like a really nice, clean, uh, clean person working through the system. They have to be like also dirty, uh, and they would have to work in a dirty way. So I I don't think they like, they are the future. They could be like just helpers on the way, but it's it's really hard to to stay clean in those matters. That's my point. Especially in this day and age. There's very few that are operating at high levels that do not have dirty hands in some ways. Right. And here there is a lot of humanity who is nice and especially here in California, there is so much, so many nice people who are really honest and have high integrity. But yes. they are not in a, in a ruling position. They are mostly like on a grassroots level. Yes, there is much going on on your world. You must make your decisions. Perhaps this would tend to, what I said would tend to sway people. I do not wish to do that. I'm just telling the facts. Thank you. Um, let me see the timing. I have about 10 minutes left of the conversation. Let me see. Yeah. Um, what should we discuss? Do you have anything else? Well, I was just going along with the questions that you asked. That's all. Okay. How about uh, self-protection from the virus? Do you have any advice on... Uh, um... well, there, are, there is protection from it, you, but stay away from it, of course. The social distancing is smart because it does take a long time to incubate. And so you want to make sure that you're washing your hands often, that you're staying away from people, at least for the moment, as it's still spreading. But that time will be over, especially, I cannot, there are three different timelines, so I cannot tell you which one you, Earth will take from this standpoint, but there are three different line, timelines for the disease. And if you follow them properly, the way everything is going now, then it should be over rather quickly. Uh, when you say timelines, are they coexisting? Is it like uh, all timelines would be real? Well, I'm just saying that no, it's not the same. There are decisions to be made okay. by governments, by people. If they, they have three different decisions or ways to handle this, if they do it properly, it will be over quickly. Right. So it's not like we have multiple timelines coexisting on the planet and some people will experience uh, one and some people will experience another. Well, I can't say that for sure. There are some people experiencing something different because of protective natures of uh, I'm so having a webinar. Outside a me. webinar. A Zoom webinar. Oh, nice. nice. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yes, there are some people that do uh, live on other timelines that c will come back to this one. All right. Come back to this one. So eventually the timelines collapse into one. In some ways, they are one of. They're beside each other, they're parallel to one another, but actually they're on top of one another also. Oh, sure, yeah. So are we able to shift from one timeline to another according to our vibration? According to necess necessity. Okay. Uh, is it um, an automatic process or are there consciousnesses involved which guide us from one timeline to another? It depends on how you're trained. There are those that are trained that it is automatic. There are others that are helped by outside beings. Uh-huh. Yeah, because sometimes I wake up and uh, I realize I'm in a little bit different. Of course. Um, everyone in your world has come to, well, not everyone, but there are those that are aware that they are not in the same place the next day as they were on the day before. Things are different. 
They notice things that changed. They notice people have changed. They notice that um, buildings have changed and signs have changed. So these things um, are, are awarenesses of the humanity. And sometimes there is a switch which happens during the awake time and like click and I see that the reality is restarted. It's a little different. And the click you is very low, low. Switching time to lines then. Uh, but for what reason, I am not sure. Perhaps someone is protecting you from a, a destructive force because you are very creative and you are in charge of something very important. So they will keep you safe. Uh, it's it's funny. It's uh, I noticed that all these clicks happen in the time of, uh, of in unimportant times, somewhere between the action. Like when there is intermission, then there is click, and I'm being switched. Maybe once in a few months. Yes, they know what is coming, so they they take you when you're at rest or when there is a pause. Yeah, I'm just walking somewhere, and then there is like. Boom and I'm switched somewhere. Yes, that's fine. I noticed that even that. In, the in the childhood, it was, it's, it's, it's an old phenomenon. Yes. All right, so coming back to the self-protection, um, my theory is that uh, biological dirt, normal biological dirt will destroy the virus really fast because the virus is an RNA virus and RNA is very unstable. So uh, R RNA is the, the garbage. You are breaking up. Oh, because I'm speaking too fast. So uh, the virus is an RNA virus, and RNA as a my, my molecule is very unstable. But the enzyme which digests RNA is extremely stable. So if you surround yourself with biological dirt, it always contains the enzyme which digests RNA. So. Uh, normal biological dirt would destroy virus like in a moment. What do you think about this theory? I think it has a lot of merit, actually. From what we have learned about it, that seems very logical. <laughs> okay, thanks. What else? What else can we use uh, for self-protection? Uh, well, just protect yourself in any, every way you possible. The, uh, we don't know enough um, about it to give you a great amount of advice. So, because it's not a disease that is out here. We are trying to look into it just to help humans, but we are not allowed to give a cure because it's a human-made disease. So there is not a lot of attention being paid to it from this angle, but we are curious about it, and that's why we are looking into it. But at this point, it is not something that we are uh, doing to save the earth because it was created by humans and we're not allowed to create a cure for you, but we are dissecting it and looking at it. Right, uh, but I mean, place yourself in a Reiki healer's position. What can you do as a healer? As a healer, you can send energy to it. Remember this, if you, if you think of the virus and put your hands on the person or connect with the virus as a certain vibration, then you will be able to hone in on that vibration and remove it. Sure. Mm, do you, can you hear the tone of the virus? What would be its, its frequency? It would be a very low tone, but with high, but it wouldn't, it would have a couple different tones to it because one tone of it is going to be a very high frequency because of the size of the, the RNA. But the other tone is a low, a very low hum vibration because of its uh, Mm, desecration in some ways because it was taken from a natural position into an unnatural position. Right, right. Discordance. Okay. So um, my theory is that every virus is 
teaching us something by bringing the genetic information to our body. Correct. So what is the message of this virus, of COVID-19? The message is that your people are changing and this is a time for uh, people to awake. Yeah. So it's in a sort of, it's awakening virus. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, I think we are close to the end. Do you have a poem to read for the closing? Oh, all right, if you would like that. Yes, that would be great. One moment, please. When looking at the horizon, you can see sun up and sun down. When looking at the horizon, you see the calmness of the sea or the mountains in great details. You can see many things on the horizon in a different way than you can see them up close. This vision far away teaches you that there is something different about the way you see things in everyday life that can be changed and can be optimized by just honing in on the things that you don't usually look at. There are details on the horizon that seem to be unaware to you at close distance, but yes, you can see them in a different way as they are being silhouetted in that particular piece of sky. Remember this, learning is from all angles. And when you turn around and see the panoramic view of the sky, it can sometimes teach you where you are in the universe, where you are in the connection to your sun, where you are in connection to the planets that are around you, where you are in the connection with each other. View the horizon. Let it speak to you in a way that it is meant to. And that is a learning tool, a beauty tool, an aesthetic tool, but also a tool of self-awareness and one that puts you in the center of the great picture. Wonderful, uh -huh. nice idea. Thank you. Thank you very much for the conversation. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day, Max. You too. <coughs> Hello?